Scrap metal has monetary value and can be an easy way for persons to make some side hustle money. Scrap metal originates both in business and residential environments. Typically a scrapper will advertise their services to conveniently remove scrap metal for people who don't need it but you will need a license for this. Scrap metal, or scrap for short. This term encompasses any kind of metal that can be recycled. Scrap is generally composed of metal that's no longer being used for its original purpose. Building renovations generally result in lots of scrap, such as old brass plumbing fixtures, aluminum doors and windows frames, copper wiring and pipes and steel appliances. Obsolete metal furniture like filing cabinets and iron patio chairs can be scrapped, as can old cars and large pieces of equipment. Metal is highly recyclable, so recyclers, scrap yards pay individuals and businesses for their scrap metal, then sell it to smelters who process the metal ready for it to be raw materials for new products. So, a simple scrapping definition is collecting scrap metal for recycling. Most kinds of metal can be scrapped just needs the person to learn to identify the different types of metal. Scrap is separated into ferrous and non-ferrous categories. Ferrous metals and alloys are made with iron. Steel, wrought iron and cast iron are common examples of ferrous metals. It's easy to identify ferrous metals because they have magnetic properties, so a magnet can help you distinguish what kind of metals you have. Ferrous metals can also be damaged by rust. Non-ferrous metals, which include brass, copper, aluminum and tin, don't include iron and aren't magnetic. Non-ferrous metals are also impervious to rust. Ferrous metal is the most recycled material in the world. Why go scrapping? From the perspective of the person collecting metal for scrapping, the goal is generally to make money. Prices vary by metal type, and also vary day by day depending on the current market for each type of material. Non-ferrous metals tend to have a higher value than ferrous metals because they are less commonly recycled and therefore there's greater demand for these materials, but what a scrapper can earn really depends on what metals they have, and how much. For example, following a building demolition, a site might have wiring, fixtures and metal tubes and pipes. It all has a value, but the copper scrap will earn more than brass. So a scrapper collects scrap metal, sorts and processes it with some simple hand tools then sells it to a scrap yard for cash which is sent to your bank account or you have a check, there is no longer any cash in hand payments. It can be seen from these prices which can be found on the letsrecycle.com website that dry bright copper is worth the most money when you sell it to a scrap yard. The prices they will buy the scrap metal for in pounds per ton. Divide the price by 100 and it will give you the price for a kilogram which is a more useful weight for the domestic scrapper to work in. So today you got an introduction to scrapping metals which can be a way to generate profitable income in western countries and is another useful income stream. See the rest of my mini-series of profitable ways to make money out of scrap metal and where to find the most profitable metal. Turn scrap metal into hard cash. Well whatever you decide to do, best of luck in any investment or business venture you wish to be involved in. A quick plug. If you got value out of this video. Please like, comment subscribe and hit the notification bell to ensure you receive notifications as soon as a new video is released.
Check out our other videos on my channel on tips and methods on how to produce an income. Thank you for watching, have a nice day.